Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Darmisha West and welcome to these designs where I do crafting and uh, all sorts of other things. Uh, I do have a stickler, guys. I buy stuff and it takes me forever to set it up and get started. So today, so today I had a long went off and interrupted my recording. So today I'm going to be unboxing I bought this two weeks ago. So that's my sticker I was talking about. I bought it two weeks ago. I'm just now able to open up. It's an Eco Tank 28, ET 2850. So I'm going to unbox it and try to set it up with you guys. Uh, I bought it for the reason I'm going to uh, add something else to uh, my crafting. Um, and I hope to be able to present it soon. But I want to start making journals and I want a better printer to get it going so i'm just gonna be unboxing this uh with you guys see what's in here so this is the unboxing of the et 2850 so we got that open put this away come with some instructions uh, of course the ink that they was talking about one two three okay i see three Three things, guys. Uh, don't tell me I'm missing one. I hope I'm not. I thought it was four ink. Four inks. All right, throwing it to the floor. I'm gonna pick this out. Let's see, can I lift it up? Oh, I'm gonna lift it up. Okay, there's the other ink, guys. I thought it was missing one. It's in the bottom of the box. Hold this. There's the ink in the wire in the bottom of the box. I think everything is out of the box, so the box is going away on the floor over here. I gotta take the plastic off. Take the plastic off. Remove all these blue strips. I do know that. I want to open instructions. I don't do like doing instructions either, but I'm gonna try. Okay, and I'll get all uh, instructions. Uh, because I have watched previous videos, I do know that I need to take away the blue, uh, all the blue stickers and all that good stuff. So, I'm going to take away some of these. And then I'm going to come back and show you um, the ink processing and plugging it up and all that good stuff. So, taking away the blue. And I'll be right back when I set it up. Because I got to... Plug it up behind my workstation. All right. I'll be back in a few. I'm back. I'm going to turn my printer on and see what it says. We're going to see what's happening. It's asking me for English. Finishing the Elson Smart Printer app. Um, I think it said for me to skip this. So, um. No, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go down and say no. I just want to get the ink loaded up. It's saying preparing. Um, while we're waiting on that, it does come with uh, the four inks. We have black, um, yellow, magenta, and uh, cyan. Cyan. However you say it. It has some tops on here. While that's doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and take the tops on. It said, see the start here bundle on the printer website to complete initial uh, initialization. See the start here. Okay. When filling ink, make sure not to squeeze the ink bottle. Okay, I think I got that. Taking all the tops off. Okay, make sure to match the color to the ink bottle ink tank. Self-explanatory. Next, um, fill the tank with ink hold down for more than for more than five seconds. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up. This lifts up. So I can get to this tank right here. Lift this tank up, and you can see you have. Um, the tanks right there, black, yellow, magenta, cyan. So we're just gonna do that and do black first. All right, I'm gonna have to stand up. And it's supposed to just snap down over in here. 
Well, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the ink is going in there. And I'm gonna wait till it does all of them. You can hear the ink going in. So that's black. I know this will take a long time to sit through. So that's black is being filled up. Black is all filled up. I'm going to the next color, which is yellow. Once again, you can hear the sound of the yellow going in. And you also can see it. My lighting is probably not the best, but yellow is going in. That's going pretty fast. Give it time to fill up and we'll move on to the next color. Yellow's all filled up. We're going to go to the next color, which is magenta. I guess I need to close them back down. We're going to magenta. Should fit over here perfect. There we go. Magenta is going. You can hear the sound. Magenta is going in there. It's going pretty fast. And we we'll prepare for the next color, the last color. The magenta is all done. Close that. We have one more, which is the blue, which is cyan, cyan, however you want to pronounce it. Say cyan. Okay, blue is going in. I'm in a chair that's squeeching, but blue is going in, as you can see. Give that time to fill up and we'll move on to the next step. Blue is done. Cyan, cyan is done. And all the tank is filled up. All colors have been filled up and we're going to go to the next step. Um, let's see. Can we go ahead and close this up and see? Can we move on to the next step? So I have it all the ink in there. Did that step. Okay, so I confirm the tank is filled with ink. Start. Okay, okay. We did that. It's in. It's starting to confirm that all the ink is put in there. I don't know if you can see the little screen. initialize they have like 18 steps I believe let's see it's telling me how to do all that so I did all that so it's just telling me what to, what to do I did that okay we're gonna go down to start to initialize it so it's initializing. It say this may take up to 10 minutes, so we will be back once the 10 minutes is done. Okay, I set up my Epson ET2850. I did all the print heading, alignment, and all that. As you can see, it's set up and ready to print. I'm too far in, too far out, but I got it all set up. So thank you for tuning in to watch my video of my new Epson ET2850 printer. Uh, I will be coming back with videos showing you the different uh, things that I found out about the printer. 
my review of what I think about it, whether uh, for its printing. Um, just to go over a few things, I did set up the ink. As you can see, the ink is in there. Um, uh, it has a tray down here. I guess I can do a brief overview. It has a tray here. You can push that in. We have the paper where you put your paper at. Go in and you can see you can change your settings to what size paper here. It has the lever back here for your paper can stand up while you're printing. Put that over in there. This is the scan bed right here. And I think I showed you guys this when I printed the thing. This is the little door for my ink. It's a little side thing over here. Um, I guess I have to have this up first. This need to be up first. This is inside where the ink was. Tells you all about your ink, all that good stuff. Uh, then I'm going to lift it up so I can show you the what the ink was. That's a little lever. It's a little lever what the ink is. And then you can prop that up while you're doing it. But as you can see, all the ink is loaded up. Epson 2050. It is Wi-Fi. Um, I'll just show you guys the printer. I will be back to show you what I'm doing with this Epson. Epson ET2850. Um, I do like the fact that I can buy our refillable bottles that is one main thing that had me uh in purchase and making my purchase decision decision is that i will waste my ink this ink should last a long time so thank you for tuning in to these designs stay tuned to see what's up next what i'm crafting what i'm cooking up thank you don't forget to hit like and please subscribe if you like to see more videos and more content of what i have to offer Bye-bye.